Hey Agents, it's Manny. It's been a while since I've made a Division video, and I have only recently started playing Title Update 6. There have been a ton of new changes to gear and weapons, so everyone's had to regrind their loadouts. One such change to gear is the addition of name gear pieces with higher level talents. These talents are prefixed with the word perfect. Some of these name pieces are only available in the DZ, and I know, like me, there are a lot of you who don't or aren't interested in grinding gear in the DZ. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily grind Dark Zone resources which are the currency you use to purchase name pieces, and then how to access the Thieves' Den where you actually purchase. It's really not that bad, so let's start the video. The first thing we need to discuss is that there are three different Dark Zones, and all slightly different. The two ZZs we care about are the Occupied Dark Zone, and the one where the Thieves' Den is located. The occupied dark zone is easy to find because it has a red hazmat symbol on it with a knife. Once you hover over it, you'll notice it says occupied dark zone. Now you need to locate the DZ that has a thieves den. For this, simply hover over the other two DZs and look for thieves den vendor available. We'll simply ignore the other DZ. Now we have to start earning dark zone resources. The only place you can get dark zone resources is the occupied DZ. So we'll head over there first. You can bank up to 300 DZ resources, and in most pieces of gear, cost between 70 and 75 resources. You can do this solo or in a group uh, with friends or using matchmaking. It is much faster in a group, but can be done solo. Another important thing to know is to tell how many DZ resources you do have. So open your resources tab in your inventory, click the hazmat symbol in the left menu, and it'll scroll you to your DZ resources. You'll see here that I currently have the lucky number 13 for my number of resources. Now we want to figure out where we want to go when we officially enter the DZ. Because right now we're just sitting in a checkpoint. When you open your map, you'll see purple checkpoints. Landmarks themselves do not give DZ resources, but Black Tusk soldiers do. And there are plenty of Black Tusk soldiers at landmarks. We see two different levels of landmarks. Hard, denoted by two chevrons, and challenging, denoted by three. We'll also notice there is a landmark that is red instead of purple. This means someone is already attacking this landmark. I personally like going to landmarks that are already being attacked and help out. I find most agents in the Occupied DZ are doing the same thing uh, I am and just farming DZ resources. So they typically will not shoot you. And it's much easier to farm and clear landmarks with help. Just remember that this is an Occupied Dark Zone, so that means you do not have to go rogue to attack another agent. Check your fire when there's other agents around, and don't get too upset if someone accidentally hits you a couple of times. Stuff happens. As I mentioned, DZ resources drop off of Black Tusk soldiers, so make sure you run around collecting them. Don't bother picking up any contaminated loot because it'll just slow you down when you try to extract it. The beauty of the DZ resources is that if you die or another agent starts griefing you and kills you, you don't lose them like contaminated loot. Once you collect it, it's yours until you spend it. So that's all there really is to grinding the resources. Um, and the only one last piece of advice I can give you is if you find that there is someone griefing you and you can't grind in peace, they're really harassing you, then log out of the game and log back in. This will put you in a new server without the griefer. Now that you've collected enough resources to buy something from the Thieves' Den vendor, let's head over to that dark zone to buy something. To quickly and safely get to the Thieves' Den, I recommend switching to Booster Hive, which is going to allow you to run a little bit faster. Now enter the dark zone and run a good distance from the entrance. Because we're going to go rogue, and the turrets at the DZ entrance will tear you apart. For PC, simply hold down the T key, which is default, to go rogue. Once you're rogue, you should see skull icons on the UI and the minimap. Just follow these to access either terminals to hack or caches that you lockpick. I was lucky here because there was a terminal right next to me. You'll notice at the top of the screen you'll see Thieves Den Triangulation, 15%. By hacking terminals or picking locks on caches, you'll increase this value. Once it hits 100%, the Thieves Den entrance location will be visible on the map. The other thing to notice here is the icons and number near your head on the UI. This is the amount of time you have before your rogue status drops off. Hacking the terminals and picking cash locks increases this time, so you'll need to get the Thieves' Den triangulation to 100% before this time drops off. Once you enter the Thieves' Den, you'll automatically uh, lose your rogue status. 
you'll notice that once I hack this terminal, the triangulation percentage goes up to 25%. It looks like terminals give you 10% and picking locks on caches gives you 20%. Since we have a limited amount of time to complete the triangulation and also the fact that we are rogue and able to be killed by other agents, we'll want to move fast. That's where the booster hive comes in. Toss your hive down and once you get boosted, stand next to it and pick it back up. I know picking it up is a bit of a time waste, but the reason we uh, are is so we can quickly use it again. If we just left it on the ground, then we'd have to wait for it to despawn before we could throw it down again. We want to use the hive as much as possible. All right, so I'm at 95% triangulation, and we'll hit 100% by picking this cache. Once I hit 100%, the location of the Thieves' Den entrances will be displayed on the mini-map and regular map. Pick the closest one and start running. Keep using Booster Hive and try to avoid conflict, because if you die, you have to respawn at a checkpoint and lose rogue status. This will make you have to start all over from scratch. Last thing to do is enter the Thieves' Den, by your name gear piece. Hero almost at extraction though. Rogue protocol nice deactivated. Hero is on site. Hopefully this will help you gear up quickly and demystify the process of getting DZ resources and DZ name gear pieces. If it was, please let me know below and if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button. Also feel free to leave me any other general comments below. I'd love to hear from you. We also have a growing Discord community where you'll be able to squat up with other agents and also trade tips and tricks. The link is in the description below. If you'd like to see more content like this, then smash that subscribe button and also follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash where I stream Friday, Saturday, and Sundays starting at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until next time, agents, take it easy.